motorcycle theft and entry in the name of love. Okay, that one's like clickbait. Well, the day before yesterday it started out like any other. 40 degrees outside right now. And uh, it's been raining. It's supposed to rain the rest of the day. And uh, today is not going to be a riding day. So. Yeah. So imagine that. Meal or report. Who cares? <laughs> it's like four years later. It doesn't affect me now. Uh, let's see. Where the heck's the diamond area? Minnesota and Wisconsin tackle motorcycle safety. <laughs> oh, it's a video. There's a charity right this weekend that their dad got killed in. I didn't really say. I just said, uh, guy named Dan. He hit a guardrail when they were riding and died. Wasn't wearing a helmet. And they wonder what could have happened. Not like they were changing a law or something like that. So, uh, But the police were going to be uh, kind of informing people ride slow or ride safely. Be a defensive rider is what they said. So if, you know, be a defensive rider and driver. So they said they were going to educate people in both the motorcycle community and the cager community. So Looking back on seven years without a motorcycle helmet law, this is an article posted by WLNS6.com, uh, Lansing, Michigan. And it says they repealed the law in Michigan for wearing helmets back in um, April of 2012. And according to statistics, the number of accidents where motorcyclists were wearing helmets um, declined from 97.7% in 2011 to 68.8% in 2017. But if you keep reading, it says the number of accidents isn't increasing, but the number of fatal motorcycle accidents are. I'm Captain Obvious. <laughs> so, just a few months ago, or maybe it's a month ago. Uh, it's back maybe in February when I started looking at the news and accidents, um, motorcycle accidents. But if you go to Google News now and you look up motorcycle, you've got police pursue motorcycle at high speed in Diamond Area. Looking back on seven years without motorcycle law, which is the one I just told you about. High speed motorcycle pursuit ends in Cajun Pass. A uh, man dies after being thrown from a motorcycle, struck by car. Reward offer in search for a car involved in fatal Dale Murray, Maybury motorcycle crash. Yes, I have the information on Dale Earnhardt that you were looking for. I know exactly how he died. What do you mean it's not Dale Earnhardt? <sighs> okay. Bye. Minnesota and Wisconsin tackle motorcycle safety. Motorcycle crash victim identified. A metal man facing DUI charges and deadly motorcycle crash. Identify off duty. Deputy killed in motorcycle wreck in Geismer. Clearwater collision claims life of Tarpon Springs motorcycle driver. 76, one killed in motorcycle crash. Motorcycle theft and intrigue in the name of love. Okay, that one's like clickbait. Clicked it. Oh god, it's YouTube. <laughs> Operation Maxim. Motorcycle theft and intrigue in the name of love. I'll be right back. Basically, this guy's son um, steals his dad's motorcycle out of the garage, goes, takes it to a local motorcycle repair shop, and uh, gets it repaired for him, gives it to him as a present. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> How it got into the Google News chain, though, that's the surprising part. <laughs> uh, so, with that being said, I've got a challenge for everybody. So the challenge is, go out and do a good deed for somebody. 
um, go out and do a good deed with, for somebody without them knowing it and see if you can get their reaction on camera and post it. It's going to be a difficult one. I'm Moto Bear. Keep the rubber side down. <laughs>